Yeah. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the issue of what happened when you were in France continues to be a story. You're going to have to take that off, please. Just, you can take I'll, it off. You're, you're how, how many feet are you away? I'll speak a lot louder. Well, if you don't take it off, you're very muffled. So if you would take it off, it would be a lot easier. I'll, I'll just speak a lot louder. Is that better? It's better, yeah. Mr. It's Mr. better. Mr. President, some people are having a hard time believing your denials of the Atlantic story because of what you said about John McCain in the past. Do you understand that? And have you asked John? No, I don't understand. And have that. you asked John Kelly to refute that story? Yeah. No, I don't understand it at all. No, because I've always been on the opposite side of John McCain. John McCain liked wars. I will be a better warrior than anybody. But when we fight a war, we're going to win them. And frankly, I was never a fan of John McCain. You know that. It's been very obvious. I was, but I had to approve his entire his funeral. I wanted him to get. He deserved a first class. You know, it all was approved by me. We sent Air Force One to pick up the casket, a lot of things. But no, I was not a fan of John McCain because he wanted the endless wars. And I didn't. I thought that the way the vets were taken care of, our great vets, was not good, not appropriate. And of course, he took the fake dirty dossier and gave it over to the FBI. So this is not somebody I'm supposed to say, what a wonderful guy. So you know what? I lived with him. He lived with me, but we had different philosophies. I think my philosophy is right. I think it's turned out to be right. But I wasn't a fan. But I respect people, and I respect a lot of people. That doesn't mean I necessarily uh, have to agree with them. And I didn't agree with him on a lot of things. Uh, the story is a hoax written by a guy who's got a tremendously bad history. The magazine itself, which I don't read, but I hear it's just totally anti-Trump. He's a big Obama person. He's a big Clinton person. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead in the back. Hi. Um, just based on some of your recent tweets, sir, do you... Um, do you sound so clear, <laughs> as opposed to everybody else, where they refuse. Your tweets about the 1619 project. Yeah. Uh, why do you object to that being taught in schools? And, and do you object to slavery itself being taught uh, in schools? Yeah, so no, I want everybody to know everything they can about our history. I'm not a believer in cancel culture, the good or the bad. If you don't study the bad, you could happen again. So I do want that subject studied very, very carefully and very accurately.